Hey guys, it's Rich Man. You know what this is. This is a great remote. But sometimes it can really push you off. Okay guys, so I'm going to let you in on some fire stick secrets today. Secret number one. When they work, they're great. Secret number two. When they stop working, usually at the worst times, they can really infuriate you. And secret number three, when you Google it and you try all the strategies they tell you to get it to work again, they all fail. So I'm going to show you today how to get it to work again. Now we're going to go through all the steps first that they tell you to do. So first of all, I want to show you, this is my working Fire TV remote. Yes, I have an old Fire TV, but this will work on the Fire Stick, the new Fire Stick 4K, whatever version you have, the Fire Cube, whatever. So I just want to show you, this is working. You'll see I'm scrolling down here with this remote. Okay. Now, let me put that down. Let's get off of that. Now I have here a remote from another Fire TV that I own. Well, a Fire Stick actually. And we're gonna to try to get this to pair to that Fire TV. So first of all, I wanna show you, it's not doing anything, it's not working. Now the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do, no matter what, is to change the batteries. Put fresh batteries in here. So right now I got a couple of batteries. I don't know how old these things are. I'm going to take them out, get rid of those, and I happen to have a couple of fresh batteries right here in my pocket. So you want to make sure when you put them in that the, the plus sign right here is going up. So you got a little pole down here, that's for the negative, and they both go in the same direction. So make sure you put them both in with the plus sign going up. Okay, so now we have fresh batteries. Let's try it again. Okay, obviously it's not working. So at this point, what they tell you to do is to unplug your Fire Stick or Fire TV for about a minute and then restart it. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, so we're gonna time about a minute here and I'll uh, be we'll right back. Okay guys, it's been about a minute now. I'm gonna plug her back in again. Okay, now we're gonna just wait till it fires up here. You'll see everything's restarting. And once it's completely restarted, I'm gonna go through the next step of what they tell you to do to try to get it to repair or to get a new remote to pair up. So supposedly, if you lose your remote, you can order a new one of these from Amazon and then pair it up to your device. So we're gonna see how that works. All right, there we go. So the next thing they tell you to do, obviously this isn't gonna work because it was never paired up to this Fire TV. So what they tell you to do is hold down the home button right here for 20 seconds. So let's do that. We're going to get as close as we can to the unit and we're going to hold down that home button for 20 seconds. So here we go. Actually, this sorry. Actually, this is my uh, my IP Vanish VPN that loaded up. So, update in progress. Your Fire Amazon Fire TV remote is being updated. Please note this may take one to two minutes. So, do not press any buttons on the remote. Keep your remote close to your Fire TV and do not remove the batteries. So, right now it's updating the software. Apparently, uh, 
this older one has some updates, so we're gonna let it update. And uh, actually opened up IP Vanish, which I'm gonna go back to the home screen here. And uh, surprise, surprise, guys, it actually worked. I'm as shocked as you are. <laughs> Usually this takes me about five times to get it to work. So let me just share something else with you. If this doesn't work for some reason, which it did, I'm shocked, but if it did, let me show you another, another method if it doesn't work where you can um, repair your device. Okay, so now I've got my iPad. And what, you, what you're gonna wanna do is go to the App Store. And we're gonna do a search for Fire Stick Remote. You can see it, it's right there. Click on that. Remote for Fire Stick TV app. And there's also Amazon Fire TV. So this one I already have, so I'm gonna click on that little cloud. It's gonna re-download. And when it's finished downloading, you can open it up. Select the device to connect. Since I'm on the same network as my Fire TV, you can see down here, Richard's Fire TV, that's me. I'll click on that. And then you want to put in the, the code that's coming up on your set right now. So it's 2089. Okay, then it wants to know if you want to en enable the directional pad for vibration feedback. I'm going to enable it. And then we're into it. So if you click the home button, you're going to come back to home. If you go to the little gear icon, you're going to go into your Fire TV settings. And in which case you're going to scroll over. Well, first you have to scroll down, then you scroll over. And you see where it says controllers and Bluetooth devices. Okay, so there you want to enter. Click the center button. You see where it says Amazon Fire TV remotes. And then it's going to look for a remote or you can add a new remote. And that's what you're going to want to click. And then you can pair it up with your new remote. So that's it guys. To show you how easy it is, well, how easy it was this time to pair up this old Fire, Fire TV remote or Fire Stick remote to my Fire TV, which is down here. I thought it was gonna take several times. It didn't, it, uh, it fired right up and I'm happy it did. And that's the steps that you wanna take. So remember first, put in new batteries. Second, uh, make sure you restart your device for at least 60 seconds, plug it back in. And then you're gonna hold that home button down for 20 seconds. If for some reason that doesn't work the first time, do it again. They tell you on the website that it may take up to 10 times to work. So have a little patience and you can get that remote working again on your Fire Stick or Fire TV. So that's it guys. If you like this kind of content, make sure you hit that subscribe button below. Give it a thumbs up and share this video with anyone that you think may benefit from it. Anybody that's having trouble with their Fire Remote. This is Rich Man. I'll see you next time.